NBC edits CJ Stroud praising Jesus out of interview after NFL playoff win. It's not a coincidence, y'all. They're coming after Christianity. They've been coming after Christianity ever since the Second World War. Rookie CJ Stroud helped the Houston Texans advance to the division round of the NFL playoffs, and NBC controversially edited out some of his post game interview. What's the crime, y'all? Someone saying, first off, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They edit that out. All this don't just happen. First of all, I just want to give all glory and praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing being. What does this moment mean? I mean, it's been amazing. The war on Christianity. The war on morality, the war on what's right, the war on traditional Christian family values, the war on the Western civilization. People keep asking why they censored this guy from saying Jesus Christ in the NFL. Would they censor him if he had used Allah or Muhammad? Would it be as controversial? Well, I don't know. But I know one thing for sure, though. Christianity is under attack. You can mock Jesus all you want. You can say whatever you want about Christianity. Make a parody about Jesus. Dressed in Jesus' costume and twerk up and down. Be blasphemous about the Christian religion. Nothing happens to you. All these things don't just happen in a vacuum. These things don't just spring out of nowhere. This is a meticulously planned movement. If you want to bring down society, first get rid of religion. Get rid of religion. Because when people have a, a, a higher power to look up to, they're always going to take the laws of religion, the laws of God over the laws of man. And for the people that want to control, people that, that are interested in controlling the masses and ruling over you and me, they have to get, get rid of religion. So you look up to them as all being, all knowing. A ruler, of, it might begin with the Western world, but it's going to trick it down to the whole world because the goal is, is to have a one world government, one world religion, one world currency, which is going to be a CBDC with its programmable money. In the case where if they don't like what you, what you want to purchase, they can just deactivate your money. <laughs> and just if you want to go and buy a phone, let's say you want to go buy a Huawei phone that the government don't want you to buy, you can buy anything else. But once you go and purchase a Huawei phone, your money is just not going to work. Your CBDCs is just not going. It's not going to work. <laughs> money that comes with an expiry date, so when you get get paid, you have up until a certain time to use up the money, or it's going to expire. You think why Texas is coming out coming out now and saying CBDCs are not money? They're going to pass a law prohibiting the usage of CBDCs in Texas? You think they don't know what they're doing? This is draconian. And it all starts. Um, I know it may seem like I'm going off on a tangent, but it all starts from this. The breakdown of religion, of society, starting with religion and then family. You can see it all in the West now. You send your kids to college, normal. They come back out like purple haired weirdos that bark like dogs in an argument to prove a point. We are in trouble. Saying Jesus now is a crime. You have to censor someone saying Jesus Christ. My Lord and personal Savior, first of all, I want to thank my Lord and personal Savior, Jesus Christ. You censor that. Y'all going to learn. Y'all going to learn. This is going to be a, a, a serious video. No laughing about effing around here. This is going to be a serious video because we all have the same enemy. We all have the same enemy. And black people that are walking around saying, oh, white people, white people are out to get me. What? No. Black people and white people both have the same enemy. You going to learn. You will learn. Hmm. Okay. You have no idea what's going on. 
think when you go to school and then they, they, they program you with these fake history books and all this we're all programmed to think a certain way and act a certain way especially us living here in the western world we're seriously programmed you don't know how far the programming gets until you move or you live somewhere else in a different country that's when you're like oh wow we're, we're, we're just like npcs we're just walking androids program us right from kindergarten Christian values are being chiseled away bit by bit, bit by bit. We're just sitting down, just watching. Watching, because they're constantly trying to divide us through race, uh, religion, sex, weight, every single thing now. That's why they're they, 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 they eroding the European civilization with the third world. Why do you think they're doing that? I don't want to go. To, I don't want to go too deep. I don't want them to unperson me. Because if you want to know who's ruling over you, find out the people you can't. You're not allowed to criticize. You can't criticize. No, f you up. Julian Assange is rotting in prison right now for what? Saying facts about the rulers to be. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness in high places. Who are the ones in high places? People you can't say nothing about. What do you think is going on over there in the Middle East right now? With a little army base over there masquerading as a country. Effing those people up over there. Their main purpose, their main goal is to, is to bring about the war of Gog or Magog. The war of Armageddon. Alright, I've said too much now. This, this, this. Someone that comes out and thanks his lord and savior jesus christ that's his right they censor him but you have people like nas x walking around dressed like 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 jesus in this new video just being a total degenerate but they will promote that they'll promote cc man it's hard now to watch tv and see masculine men Either black or white men, it's hard to see them Clint Eastwood type characters no more. No. Those kind of like Wesley Snipes, macho man figures, no. Now, you have to be moist. You have to be a fruit pop to be out there on TV. Especially in a syndicated program. And they'll push you. All these artists, all these celebrities don't just, they don't just organically appear. They are manufactured. They have certain criteria, certain boxes they have to tick before they get promoted and pushed out there in front of you, in front of kids. Look at Coco Melon making uh, cartoons of boys walking around in tutus and two dads and two moms. Are you seeing what the, what the agenda is or are you still asleep? Because there's going to come a time where we all are going to have to stand up and fight, as in physically fight. The last thing on your mind is wondering about, oh, this white person uh, beside me, that white. No, because we all have the same enemy. And we're all too busy being distracted to know who they are. Are you seeing this? This is what they want. This is what they want for, 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 for men. Because masculine men, masculinity, is always a threat to the powers that be. Because men real men heterosexual heterosexual strong men are not going to sit down and watch themselves being taken advantage of no a man it's in a man's nature to want to stand up and oppose tyranny but before they give you that male figure that's going to spark that fire in you they rather put something like this in front of you this is new masculinity now. This is what they're trying to push down to people. So if the older masculine generations are dying off, and these generations are too busy with work and jobs and too busy being debt slaves, the next generation coming up, Gen Zs or whatever, they're the, they, they're the gayest generation in the world, in the history of mankind. They're manufacturing them. They're programming them. This thing right here is role model. He's a role model to people. 
look, this is what they want. This is the type of masculinity that they want. They'll push something like this before they ever push something like, like, like an Arnold type of figure, like a Sylvester Stallone type of figure. They'd rather push an entertainer like this in front of your face. <laughs> Look at this. You can dress like Jesus and mock Jesus Christ. That's fine. You don't come under any scrutiny. If anything, you're praised. But if you mention the tunnels in New York, you get on person immediately. Look at this. This is this is the new masculinity. This is what they <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ. This is what they want. It's dressed like Jesus. It's wearing a necklace there that says S-E-X. Look at him on the cross, mocking Jesus Christ. Even if you're not a Christian, you should know that this is insulting. Back in the day, this guy, all this nonsense would have been cut off immediately. But we're so weak now. We've been beaten down. We just let these happen. Look at Sam Smith. And they all start off looking so innocent. Uh, looking forward to the road ahead and the journey. The new phase of their life. They're just happy. They've broken in, onto the world stage. And then after a while. Bum, 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 this is what you get. This Sam Smith. Is not this Sam Smith. This new Sam Smith right now, only God knows what's like I say, they all they all made it, it's like they made in the factory and pushed out there for, for, for us. You wonder why art sucks right now? You wonder why music and everything sucks right now? People say, Oh, because you're getting old. No, it's not because you're getting old. It really sucks right now. The devil cannot create anything new. All he has, all he can do is corrupt what's already there. This is masculinity. The rest of the world's laughing at they're laughing at us. Look at this one. Saucy Santana, whatever his name is. These are role models. These are role models. Look at look look at this. They'd rather put someone like this in front of your TV before they put a heterosexual black man in front of your TV. They're not gonna try that. No. They'll promote this all day. It's androgynous type stuff. All this is not just happening organically. They're paying homage to their God. To the goat God. You wonder why this term is being used everywhere now. The goat. They say, oh, he's greatest of all time. Oh, he's the goat. He's the goat. That's the goat. That's the goat. Those represent them with like a figure of a goat. With the goatee on. The goat God. B A F B A P H. M-E-T, I can't really say the whole thing because they're going to unperson me. You see, you censor yourself so you can get the word out codedly for people to understand what you're saying, to decipher words now. It's like we're playing the, the, the Da Vinci Code. And you say, oh, you're in the land of the free. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Feminine, mask, feminine man with a beard. Galen Dialectic. Look at this. Teen Vogue. I told you these are role models. These are role models. They're coming after the kids. They're coming after the teens. We program, program them when they're young. You own, you own them forever. That's their God. The goat God. With that star up in front of him. The pentagram. The star of... Mm -mm, D-A-V-I-D. And of course, it's got the feminine... Uh, chest there. It's got the masculine genitalia from the waist down is the masculine. And it's got the feminine there to bring it together up of opposites. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You see that? As above, so below. Is it the same, sorry, the same entity, different names. The same entity, different names. This this is also called uh, Azazel? Yeah. And uh, Samael. 
with the, with the goatee. You know Samael? Uncle Sam? The nickname for America? Yeah? That's the God. That's the God of America. That's what the founding fathers, your founding fathers, worshipped. They weren't Christians. That's why they, if you look at the area view of of Washington, D.C., it's got a bunch of occult symbols on it. Yep, that's him. That's their God. That's who they worship. And they always have kids. They always have kids around the effigy looking up to them. They're coming for the kids. They, they, <laughs> they can't say it in clarity. If you choose not to listen, that's your own problem. Look at that. They're displaying that. I think that was in Arkansas. Right in public in the town square. For you to see. This is who they worship. What are you gonna do about it? It's like they're daring you to do something. Like, all right, then this is what this is this is this is the the direction we're pushing the society. What are you gonna do about it then? What? What? First foremost, I just want to give all glory and praise, my Lord and Savior of Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing being What does this moment mean? I mean, it's been amazing. Being in this city for as short as I've been. First foremost, I just want to give all glory and praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing being. What does this moment mean? I mean, it's been amazing being in this city for as short as I've been. Holy shit. What the hell was that all about? 